My name is Indy and I was asked to give a review of the flatbed laminator so I do feel inclined. It's such a great product I'm just going to make a video for it. First of all, it's huge. When you get it shipped to your location, you're gonna, you have to make sure that you've either got a good size forklift or a loading dock. If not, you just have to make those arrangements, uh, maybe even with the shipping company, but it didn't happen like that for me. There was a little bit of a delay. So the first thing I'll say about the table is it's gigantic. It's, it's very large. Um, it's a full 10 feet long. It laminates just short of that what is it I think it laminates eight feet uh, whatever the description says it's ten feet long and it stops about a foot short each way it is a amazing uh, it's an amazing build and you end up having to put it together but I mean watch this I'm not holding back or anything it's a very strong machine I actually have the air compressor off right now but it works amazing so at the end of the table comes your comes these rollers that isn't anywhere in the description for this at all by the way and you get your rollers this is removable with these crazy rubber pads you can put it on any table or anywhere i prefer to leave it here and these would roll back in you fold them in with a bolt or a, a remove bolt or something pretty easy so i prefer to leave my magnets here they're not there right now but my big roll of magnets i just pull it out we laminate, we make the magnet, cut it, roll it back up, awesome. Super powerful lights, too bright in my opinion. I mean, I'm not used to lights at all, so I don't really know the concept of always just working on regular tables, but I can see a huge use for this when I wanna see one layer on top of the other for lining up or, or whatnot, translucence maybe, but I don't see it, for me it's not all the time because it's really bright, it's, but it, it's, it's amazing power and it's pretty even. Uh, you can see where, you know, where the bulbs are, but I'm not leaving it on all the time, so when I need it, it's going to be good light. The heat on it is amazing, it's really hot. I'm once again, like the lights, the laminating, I've never laminated with heat before. So it's a learning curve. I mean, it really, it, it, it made me mess up the first time I tried because I wasn't, I wasn't used to what it would do and I left the laminate on it for too long. So uh, amazing heat, even. Uh, there's the side trays. You do get the side trays with this model. Awesome. I mean, it's already loaded with a whole bunch of knives and scissors and stuff like that. So you can't go wrong there, of course. The width of the table this is a normal roll of laminate 54 inch roll of laminate and no problems at all you can see you drop it down it goes like edge to edge that's what the glass is is the 54 real convenient you know you don't print the 54 anyway so you're gonna have that little bit a little bit over the edge on each side i just had no problems with this machine yet uh the compressor it's uh, my compressor my connection, maybe it's me, maybe it's not, it does leak a little bit. I hear this little, barely anything, so it does start back up every 30, 40 minutes for 30 seconds. Not that big of a deal. If I want, I can fix that seal. Other than that though, everything just was plug and go. You gotta have a little bit of knowledge because honestly, I didn't get instructions with this, but it really wasn't hard to put together at all. Most of it's just pulling some pins, it drops into place and you're ready to roll. Make some signs, it's an awesome, uh, it's an awesome table. Super, super low price, it's worth every penny. I also got some other stuff actually from the same supplier. I'll shout out on that right now too. I got this general purpose table cutter for my substrates. I easily conquer through stuff like PVC, four mil corrugate, 10 mil corrugate like it's not even there i mean you just adjust the depth it'll fall in place slice through it like it's not even there i got a tabletop cutter too that's a little bit smaller we've just been having amazing success since we picked up this stuff good luck